Hey guys and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft GAA Stadium Showcase and today we'll be taking a look at Cusack Park in West Mead. It was built in 1933 and has a capacity of 11,000 so let's head on in. So this is what it looks like. It's a small to medium sized stadium. I'd, I'd kind of put it like straddling the line between small and medium. But yeah, it's a pretty cool stadium. You've got these really small terraces at either end behind the goals. Cause, you know, like I said, it's not a big stadium and it's barely it's mostly medium, small to medium. Uh we've got a, a much we got a bigger terrace at this side. And then over this side we have the main seat. As you can see, we have the wooden benches again. We, have, we we saw them in was it episode three or four? Well, yeah, they're back again. I forgot to put them along here. You know what? I'll do that now. Okay, we're back. Uh, yeah, so I put them in there now. But yeah, the the stand is pretty cool. Got got these uh, little buildings here with windows. You can see out onto the pitch. These are definitely the analysis and commentary uh, boots. And here, these white these are normal seats. So. For most of it, you've just got these casual wooden benches, and then here, more in the middle, you've got, like, proper actual seats. So, I imagine these would be kind of, like, considered this stadium's premium seats. So, it's like, the average Joes would sit here, and the... The... Hmm, what, what would you call them? The rich prats, I suppose, would sit here. Uh, the roof has these openings. Well, kind of openings. There, you can see that there's white stained glass in them. To let in the light. And here, written on the front of it, we actually have the name of the stadium. So you've got Cusack Park written. And you've TEG written there, because that is their sponsor. So, like, if you're looking at it from somewhere here, you can see that it says TEG Cusick Park, and you know that that's the name of the stadium, and that's who it's sponsored by. Yeah, so over here, we've got the scoreboard, and their next game is against Kerry in the Joe McDonough Cup, uh, and Westmead compete in the Joe McDonough Cup, and also the Ireland Championship in the hurling because the winner and the runner-up of the Joe McDonough Cup go into the preliminary round of the All-Ireland so they would face third place in the, Leinster, the Leinster and the Munster Championships so yeah it's a neat little fact uh, also, they compete in Division 1A of the Hurling League, uh, which is the very top division, so they're pretty decent. But Division 1, uh, the A and the B mean absolutely nothing other than to shorten the length of the league, because Basically, the top three teams in Division 1A and 1B go through to the quarterfinals and semifinals. So, the first place team in 1A and 1B would go straight to the semifinal, and second and third place would go to the quarterfinal. Which is... 
which is how they work it. And then the bottom two teams would go into a relegation playoff, so the bottom team from 1A and the bottom team from 1B would face each other and the loser gets relegated. So yeah, what Division 1 is completely different. So, because they're, they re redraw it every year, so next year they might be in 1B. Or, well, I don't think it's every year, I think it's every few years. Well, yeah. So in the football, they compete in Division 2 of the league and the Leinster Championship. And of course, the All-Ireland, because the football championship is a bit more fair, I guess, in that sense. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. So we'll just get one last look. Look at the main stand. So, yeah. If you hope you enjoyed the video, don't be... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one.